Greetings, George Parrott here, the Missions Director of CMM, Christ's Mandate for Missions, and we pray that you're having a great and a restful and a joyful summer, spending time with your family and friends. I know many people are working hard at their jobs or getting ready for school starting soon, and we're excited about the, the new school year coming up at our CMM College of Theology talking to students every day, and we're having an open house uh, this week where we'll be answering questions. And uh, we're thankful to the Lord that each year the Lord keeps bringing more students in from many nations, many states in the United States and countries around the world to, to go higher in the Word. And we invite you to pray about that and to go to our website at cmmtheology.org to check it out and ask the Lord if he would have you and desires for you to start uh, earning your accredited degree come September. We'll be starting right after Labor Day and you'll be able to graduate in the spring of 2019 with an accredited Christian degree. And for many people, this has really helped them gain access as they travel into the nations. And it's just an exciting time. And um, I don't know about you, but I've been having more uh, vivid dreams uh, the last few weeks. And it's really been an amazing time. And it's important for us to, to journal these dreams and to share them with close friends and families and to get uh, feedback from people or interpretations of what other people might perceive from the dreams that the Lord is giving us. But it really is a time of, of shifting. And I kind of see like stages of accelerated shifting going on that it's not one and you're there for a long time. It's a rapid acceleration going on. And I have to catch myself regularly of like, Lord, don't let me miss what you are doing in my life, in my family's life, in our ministry, or what you're doing in the earth. Um, the Lord and uh, the Holy Spirit are moving in radical, amazing ways in many nations around the world. We're so thankful and we covet your prayers for our missionaries and families serving on the front lines in 70 plus nations. and. Persecution is increasing and spreading, but also we see uh, glory increasing uh, as it talks about in Isaiah 60 that the, the glory will shine brighter and brighter until that day of Jesus' soon and certain return. And this week the Lord's been impressing upon me um, some scriptures about our perceptions of who God is, of how we see the Lord. You know, in Matthew 25 in the parable of the talents, there's some great examples there of how um, the master was going away on a long journey and so he called his servants together and he gave one uh, five talents and one three talents and one one talent different versions of the gospels talk about it in different ways but basically it's all about stewardship and what do we do with what the lord entrusts into our care we're to do everything as unto the lord and so we read in, in the parable of the talents there in Matthew 25 about the one who had the five talents. He, he uh, exercised his faith and he took risk and he doubled what the master had given him. And when the master returned, he was very well pleased and says, well, now we're going to make him ruler over 10 cities. And then the second uh, steward, he was given uh, three talents and he doubled it and the master went to him upon his return after the long journey and the master was well pleased and, and he, he gave him uh, authority and governance over a large area or many cities. And the third uh, steward, he had a perception that his master was a mean, hard taskmaster. And so he took the one talent that he was given and he buried it under the rock. And when the master came back, and uh, came to inspect what he had left and entrusted to the steward with the one talent. Um, he was surprised and he said, why didn't you just put it in the bank? At least I could have gotten interest off of this money, this talent, this uh, thing of value that I entrusted into your care. And so he was very disappointed in the steward and he cast him into uh, the sea of outer darkness, of forgetfulness, of just being gone. and. That's not a good place to go for all eternity. And because of our perception of how we see God, do we see him as a loving um, a father who comes running after us like the 
the prodigal son account that we read about? Or do we see him as a, a judgmental and critical and mean-spirited God who is just going to wait for the chance to cast us into hell? And it's amazing here that we see of what our perception is often gets us what we expect. And so for that steward who saw the master as a mean, hard task master, that's what he got. But the others that saw the, the love and the, the generous spirit of our Father God, they were not afraid to take a risk and exercise their faith and to see how the Lord would grow that. And we know in Hebrews eleven six it talks about without faith it's impossible to please God. So right now I want to pray and speak into and make declarations over your faith that you will see God as the loving God, the all-knowing Father, full of loving kindness, full of grace and mercy toward you that he has, like we read in Jeremiah 29, 11, he has good things for you planned. He has the very best, ultimate highest best in all the universes for you to grow and to to take what he gives you and to multiply that for his glory for the upbuilding of the kingdom and to uh, use that and that he will grant you the desires of your heart as what you do with your with your uh, heart and your faith and your words and your actions um, will be obedient to the Lord and bring joy and pleasure to his heart and that you would bring joy to the Father's heart every day, and that you would just uh, put away doubt and unbelief. And Father, we ask you to forgive us of our own doubt and unbelief in any way that we've limited or hindered you or put you in a box, Lord, that you just be free. Holy Spirit, just show us the freedom that we have in your spirit, that we would be obedient and full of the fruit of the Spirit, manifest in life and that all of the gifts of the spirit and the fruit of the spirit would be evident in our lives and in our actions and in our obedience to you as everything is a form of worship and we worship you and we give you thanks giving and praise and all the glory and may your house be blessed today as i speak to you and we pray a healing and freedom and deliverance and all spiritual blessings on you and yours that you would go forth with boldness with great courage and great joy in the days ahead. In Jesus' name, thank you for listening. We appreciate it.